Welcome to Adventures in Second Life, How Do I Move? Letter and Arrow Move Keys. For this demo and this video, we're going to basically show you how to move around. I basically did this first rotation, just moving the right arrow key a little bit, just to get a look of what the lay of the land was. Then I, of course, looked at the board and started moving forward using my up arrow key. Not page up, just uh, forward arrow key. And it's pretty simple. It gets you moving. Keep in mind, I know for most of you, if you're not into gaming or haven't used your arrow keys, it's a little awkward. So I completely respect that. Just give it a little time because you will get used to it over, over, over time period as you practice. Now, one of the cool things about when you're in this first stage of logging in, because this is basically a first login for uh, this avatar, is they guide you through what keys you need to use. So it comes in really handy. You can use the keys W, A, S, D, W for, for forward, S for backward, A for left, D for right. Or you can just use the arrow keys, which come in really handy depending on what kind of keyboard you have. If you're just using from, if you're working from a laptop, of course you want to, you're going to be using more, more likely the WASD. If you have an actual separate keyboard that's uh, USB plugged in or something to your desktop or laptop, then it's a different story. You can always uh, leverage the arrow keys, which can be a little more convenient. At least they were for me. Rotating is pretty easy because as soon as you click on those keys, those arrow keys that you see, or the WASD keys, it will rotate you to the right, the left, or it puts you forward or backwards. So it's not too tough to do that. So it actually turns out really conveniently. Now keep in mind, when you start climbing on things and, and stuff, they are going to teach you how to jump. And during this segment, you're going to see the avatar that I'm using, the first avatar that I was given. And it's going to need to do jump across that little cavern, right? So you have to press page up and E. And if you notice, I got a little nervous. It's because I thought I had to do a funny leap because I'm just walking. I didn't. I was not too confident that I could cross that because it looked like a pre pretty big space. But it turns out it's not that wide and you actually can jump across it, not a problem. But in those cases, you're going to use the page up. And the... It's not too bad. And then of course you keep using the WASD or the arrow keys as you need to. So now we're getting closer to the final portion of this and this is going to be the interesting part because you're going to learn how to fly. Now you're thinking, I fly? I can fly in a virtual game? Yeah, you can fly in a virtual world. At least in Second Life you can. I don't know about others. But in that case, it's kind of cool because, you know, you press page up or E and you can fly or page down and see so you can land. So see, look, I'm flying up, page up. Then I'm going a little forward with the arrow key just to make sure I don't, then I'm gonna do page down, Ta da There I am, I landed on the other side of that crazy little wall. And it wasn't too bad. So that is almost all of this particular tutorial. It just shows you how to move around. I know it's going to be a little awkward for you when you start, but, you know, have fun with it. You know, play around. It, could, it doesn't hurt. It's always a great exploration.